Ha! Just as the dawn. Okay, Saturday the 19th of October 2019. Time looking at that 0642 hours. Bridge end. Reynard. Apparently rugby's on. Could be tricky. Anyway, e-ticketing all the way. Listening to It's a Thing, Molly Wood and Tom Merritt, going that way. Bridge end. And it's milder, or it could just be, well, the sun's up, who knows. Anyway, Costa. Thank you. So clear. Well, it turns out the rugby, well, it's England. There are some people here, but not a great deal. Anyway, BFS still on. This is Minagoff Juicy IPA, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Ishi Brewing Co. He's from Guam. Anyway, um, brewed in this country and it's brewed by Adnams. And 1.99 a pint. It's a bit cool. Carpet for Mr. Manning in Mr. Manning's hometown. Mmm! There's grapefruit, there's fruit. It's a bit cold at the moment. I think that's gonna go up. That's really good. That's a B plus and a bit already. I think when it warms up, B plus plus. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a B plus plus. So far, no Reynard. Didn't expect that. And we're on number two. Challenge, I think. <laughs> anyway, um, Mash Brewing from Australia. Someone called Henry Brook. 4.8% alcohol by volume. Brewed in the UK by the Hook Norton Brothers. Uploading the Saturday wrap at the moment. There are issues. HSDPA plus at the moment. So. This is, as you can see, rather cool. Nope. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> Last recovery. Anyway, carpet for Mr. Manning again. Mmm. That is full bodied, quite fruity, almost barrel aged. Let's say 4.8, something like that. Anyway, I'd say B plus in a bit. Okay, so there is music, so that'll probably mean a takedown before long. However, Hump Clips Arama, and we do get a bit Belgian. Anyway, brewed on site, branded glass, this is BPA. This BPA! Bridge N Pale Ale. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> um, so, in Bridge N, drinking Bridge N Pale Ale in the coach. Brewed on site, 4.2% alcohol by volume, I believe. I can make this stuff up. And, oh, there's a doggy. Pork scratchings. And uh, real flags, Mr. Manning. He likes his carpets and his flooring. Ah, yes, I've. Uh, oh, that's uh, not bad. Before. I quite like that. That's B plus in a bit. It's a little bit dry, nicely bitter on the finish, and apparently diet, so I'm going to go for it. So, we pop next door the chippy, small sausage and butter, lots of chips, lots of salt and vinegar, stone flags. Okay, another pint, we're now moving on to Bristol, north to the future, 5% alcohol by volume. A nice creamy head, there's a big debate going on about heads. That is, that is really, really good. That's a B plus plus easily. And you saw the chips. So we're post chips, we're post sausage and butter, we're post Ireland losing. And um, we've got the Brexit vote on at the moment. 
uh, subtitled, obviously. Um, this is um, the Crush Brewing's uh, New England IPA, 5.4% alcohol by volume. And I've moved over to keg. So it is slightly colder. Probably co well, you can see the pump over there. You can see the condensation on there. It smells really fruity, and I still can't get over all the pump clips. And it's fruity, a little bit tropical, and a hint of spiciness, really refreshing. And if it was really boiling outside, it would be lovely. Well, I think the rain stopped and the sun's out, so, because plus. Nope. <laughs>